In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Soft Edge in Pixera. In order to do so, I have prepared a small sample project with a curved screen and two projectors shooting at the screen cross over. Now, in order to get access to the Soft Edge settings, you want to go to the Select Projector, go to the Inspector and change from Warp to Soft Edge. Now, here we are able to create soft edges and down below you can find the settings for the soft edge itself. To get a better overview, what you can do is you can flip over this window here into your workspace and now we get a little bit better sight of what we're doing. Now, you can work with two different types of soft edge in Pixera. There is a soft edge warp and a soft edge screen alliance. In order to create an element, all you have to do is click plus and now I've created a warp soft edge. As you can see, it follows the screen's texture. So it basically follows the warping. Right to the side, you can activate, deactivate it, lock and delete it. Now let's take a look at some more settings. In shape, you can change from soft edge to mask, depending on what you need. You can go interpolation for the um, edges in case you want to modify them. We're going to take a look at that with the screen aligned. And there's the gradient size in pixels. Now to place your soft edge mask, you can use these buttons here. And by doing so, it will automatically flip to the corresponding side. So let's say I want to have it on my left side. I can then change the gradient size of pixels and I can change the gamma right here. And additionally to the what soft edge, you can as well use so-called screen aligned soft edge. And in order to create it, all you want to do is click plus here. What's important to know is right now I can't grab my soft edge. And the reason for that is that up here I have to change from warp to screen aligned. Only now I'm able to grab and move this uh, mask. Now let's call it the settings window here in the inspector and let's now change this to mask. Now let's imagine we want to, or we have to use a different shape. Uh, if you click up here, you can go to edit mesh and now I can edit my points here. So I could do a triangle for example, or I can also change the interpolation to Bezier for example. And now I can go for a circle for, a circle for example. So lots of different possibilities here. There we go. Additionally to that, I can also go to Cubic Bezier and now do something completely different as you can see. And yeah, this mask is a little bit different to the um, warp mask. As you can see, it doesn't follow the screen texture. It basically sticks to the output. And if you're working with feed modes, uh, you can furthermore take advantage of automatic soft edge creation. So as you can see, I have my projectors set to fit. So I've got feed modes activated. So we can also see the green lines here pointing at the correct part of the screen. And um, if you're running a feed mode setup, all you have to do is click this button here up top, generate soft edge, and Pixara will automatically create the perfect soft edge for you. So you can see both for the projectors, the correct soft edge. There shouldn't be anything you have to do manually for a setup like this.